Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are heading over to the Symes Retreat here and doing that mission soon. But first, I just want to check on our research. So I would very much like to do the Pandoran Capture and Containment reasonably soon. Hmm. Nah, you know what? I think I'll leave it as it is because we need to do these autopsies anyway. And some of them actually give us stuff that we can build. So right now we cannot make shotguns. I want a shotgun. I want to blow Pandoran's faces off with shotguns. So, and I think maybe we'll get that from one of these things, I hope. So let's head back to the Geoscape. Let's just make sure everyone has the equipment they need. They do. He's a little bit wounded. So let's just let him get healed up. And then we'll go. Doesn't matter that much that he's a little bit wounded. There we go. He is healed. And we are ready to head out. Now... I don't think there's much point in doing a scan down here. We want to head down here, I think, and do a scan when once this one is finished and it's basically finished. Or head out this way. Or head out this way. It might be nice to head down here and do a scan. Actually, it's probably better here because here we will be scanning a lot of water, which seems useless at the moment. So let's head over here and do this Symes Retreat mission. The Symes Retreat Exploration Site. Our operatives have reached Randolph Symes III's private retreat, where we may be able to find additional information that may help us decipher his notes and make sense of his activities. However, our scans indicate enemy presence in the area. All right, let's start the mission. Everyone is ready, so let's just deploy the squad and be happy about that. All right, we are heading in. I love the Manticore, it's such a cool craft. Here we go. Now, I'm further ahead in this playthrough than I, I am in my private, because I don't have that much time to play. So... This is new to me. I haven't tried this before. So we have no enemies in sight. We have an upstairs. And we have a further upstairs. And there is the mission objective, it seems. So how do we get up there? We need to go up the stairs here or come around and go up the stairs here. Can we even... Is there a door here? Oh, yes, there is. We could go that way around as well, but it seems like it's easier to just... Actually, can we... We can get up here, so we can go up outside. That's not bad. Alright. So, we want to move around that way. And get over here and get up top. Can we get up top and still be able to shoot at the moment? No. I don't think I want to do a dash because we can't see anyone. So let's just head over here and see if we see something. We do not. In that case... Let's come up top. Still don't see anything. Now we know there are enemies. So we need to be a little bit wary. I wonder where they are, though. I guess they're after the same thing as us, so... Won't they come this way and... Let's overwatch down here. Five by five. You... You know what? Come over here. 
What's our plan? Now you are definitely one up top. Sprinting to position. Still don't see anything. There's you. Let's move you inside. Then there's you. Let's move you inside as well. Okay. We don't see anything. Oh, here they come. Brighton. Okay. Snipes. Uh, before we do this, let's just see. You have pain chameleon, so if we could take his torso out. Targeting. Uh, actually, it's clicking. And take out his torso. Nice. And then we'll quick aim again. It's nice that he has so much willpower. And shoot that torso once more. Alright. Anything we can pick up there? No, doesn't look like it, unfortunately. You. Why don't you dash? Uh, you know what? Dash over here. We could dash you again and actually get the mission done. So, objective. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's stand here. We're watching that direction, though. We can't probably. We probably can't shoot in that direction. But we have the objective, now we just need to kill everyone, I think. So... Is there a door over on this side? There is. Let's move over here. And overwatch in that direction. You... Come around the side. Oh, there's something. Uh, what do you have? Ooh, you're a nasty launcher arm, machine gun, and spitterhead. Okay. How much health did you have? 160. You could take one shot. And still get back into cover. Alright, the leg is down. Okay, let's come back one more. I'm here. There's you. You come over here. And get ready to smack him if he comes around the corner. You can actually overwatch. I wonder... Do I want to come up here and see if I can shoot this guy through the window? If I do, I can still get away and into cover. Ah, uh, you can't. Moving Let's now. Let's try here. Let's... You can't. Dang it. Alright, get back in here. And just hunker down. Where is he going? He went over there. Oh, there's another Triton. Good job that we overwatched there. Took some damage. Okay. Now, you could actually dash out and take this guy out. So, if you come over here, 
ash over here. And shoot him in the groin. Death. You. Ash. Now this is a little bit dangerous. Does he need more than two shots or more than one shot to take him out? I don't Be think right so. There. No, he definitely doesn't. Shoot him in the butt. He's down. And we can run back into cover here. And there's you. You could do another dash. Up here. Do it. And let's actually throw a grenade, taking out this tree as well, hopefully. Yep. But that does mean that he... But he moved towards us. So where did he go? Where did he go? He's right there. So if you come up here, Hostile hello, strike him, and he's dead, and that's the mission. Very nice. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. A bit of XP for everyone. Small injury for Lee but. Nothing too severe. We got the journal and everything is fine and dandy. Cool. Let's head back to the Geoscape. All right. The quest exploration site. Our operatives have retrieved a big batch of documents from the Symes retreat. These should allow us to better understand what Symes was doing and what he discovered. Let's analyze the documents. All right, we have identified three key sites that Symes singled out as particularly relevant to his research into the history of the Phoenix Project and previous outbreaks of unusual diseases. It is imperative that we send operatives to investigate these sites as soon as the strategic situation allows. Tech plus 100, materials plus 300, and three sites added. So rise by sin, by, by virtue fall, Frozen and Prisoner of Ice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. As the world fell apart around us, it was difficult not to feel guilty. Some chose to be proactive and fight, but not me. I came here instead. My best weapon is my mind, and I need silence to put it to work. The history of the Phoenix Project is a complex tapestry. In Russia, Turkey, Britain, Spain, not one unbroken lineage, but a tangle of organizations, each passing the torch to the next with only one goal, to protect the human race. But protected from what? Did they know about the Pandora virus? And if so, how? The answers are out there. So much has been investigated and collected and analyzed, but it's all scattered, lost. I don't know if it's possible to track it all down, but I have to try. There's only one thing I'm sure of. I can't stay here anymore. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So, I mean, he's wounded, but it's just, it's, it's just a flesh wound, isn't it? Uh, no one leveled up. Uh, our manufacturing is actually done with the Banshee helmet, uh, well, all the Banshee armor, so that's kind of nice. We have two Hell Cannons, I think we have pretty much everything we need, don't we? Let's make another one of you. I think we have everything we need. Alright. Research, still a bit away. 
for the bases the training facility is done in 14 hours and those are done in two days all right let's head down here and explore these three areas and then head over here actually this scan is basically done right so let's head over and explore these two and set up a scan over here first scan complete there the scan is complete let's explore All right, Sinitrian Haven. Tech for food or materials for food. I don't really want to trade any of those two things for food. Let's head over here, start an area, scan, and explore. Construction complete. Cerebral accelerationism. Peter Abrams. Peter Abrahams is, is home to Dr. Lexa Kennedy, a charmingly sinister neurobiologist who believes in pushing the boundaries of human cognitive experience. He's been working on a new method for transferring information into the human brain, hoping it can be used to accelerate learning processes. Unfortunately for her work, the people of Peter Abrahams find the value of her work questionable, particularly, particularly as they are worried it could be used to secretly indoctrinate people. That and the incident where I turned Larry into Barry, <laughs> Dr. Kennedy admits. But look, I'm working with limited resources here. The world is literally ending and we need every advantage we can get, right? So if any of you operatives is the term, yes? If any of you operatives would be interested in helping me run some tests on your brains. Uh, to be honest, I think it sounds like a terrible idea. But nothing ventured, when nothing gained, right? Let's allow our operatives to participate. After minor brain surgery, some mild electric shocks and a limited amount of shrieking, the experiments are finally successful. I've managed to download War and Peace into your brains, Dr. Kennedy Beams, although I think it's in ancient Cappadocian. Sorry, wrong file. Further exper experimentation shows that the technology has a lot of limitations, but it will allow our soldiers to improve some of their skills. Haven Leader's attitude to Phoenix Project Minus 3, your soldiers have suffered 30 damage, your soldiers have lost 10 damage, uh, 10 stamina, 10 skill points have been obtained. Okay. So... Was that a good or a bad thing? If they got 10 skill points each, then... I'd say it was pretty reasonable. No, we just got 10 Phoenix point skill points. Man, all right, I'd say that that probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> that probably wasn't worth it. Reverse engineering iconoclast. All right, we'll queue that up. That's a Sinidrian shotgun. Oh, we want shotguns. We really want shotguns. All right, everything is everyone is still reasonably fine. So let's head up here and do these explorations and then these over here and then go down to the south of India and uh, Ceylon or Sri Lanka and, and do those as well. A disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. All right, we have an a haven under attack. I guess we're going to go help those. All right, plus eight for disciples of Anu, minus two for New Jericho, and one for Sinidrian. But we get some nice resources. And the threat level is low. The light level is day seven. Attacking strength. I think that's gonna be fine. To the rescue! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 
let's see. Oh, this is the one of their temples. They are so cool looking. I really like the way they've designed these guys, these things. We see one enemy. Oh, we are up top with everyone. That is pretty nice. Where where do we see someone over there? Okay. Well, snipes. Do you want to come over here and see if you can take this guy out? Uh, actually, before we take him out, let's just have a quick look at him and see what he has. Gunic grenade launcher, pincer, and spitter head, and 160 HP. So we won't take him out in one shot, but we can do some damage. It will shoot right around there. Right, disabled his leg, he's bleeding. Okay. And then we have you. Are you, you have additional plus two willpower. Uh, I'm thinking we just run over here and see what's over on this side. Nothing as of yet. Can you actually hit that guy from there? No. Not a chance. Not a chance. So let's overwatch. Over in, in this direction. And we have you. Wait. Channel open. You, because you uh, are a really good shot. So if you come over here. shoot Let's go right here he's gonna bleed out he is gonna bleed out and we can come over here oh, you're not really useful for that uh, hmm Overwatch in this direction, make sure that no one comes at us over the roof. Across the roof. You. Overwatch in this direction. And you. Come over here. And overwatch in this direction. Alright, he's dead. There's another dude fighting. Damn it. Right, well. And another dude. Okay. Let's see, this Triton is that Pink Chameleon. Alright, so we need to take out its torso which shouldn't be a problem there we go disable torso we came again and take him out there we go and we have you you can see this guy. You can actually quick aim. This is gonna be pretty cool. Because now it only costs one. Firing target. Alright. And if we quick aimed again. I don't think I want to do that though. It's just fine. Because we still have willpower left to dash now. All right. You can just stay there. Is there nothing over in this direction, I wonder? Let's move over here. Grab that so we get more willpower for everyone. And then overwatch in this direction. 
I wonder if there's nothing down here. Well, let's dash and jump down here and see if there's something down there. We don't see anything. Let's just overwatch. You need to come down because there's obviously nothing up here. You don't see anything either. Let's switch over to the hammer, just a good I'll measure. Move. And then you can overwatch in this general direction. Overwatching. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything around here. So if you came... You came down here. Sorry. Sorry about your windows, guys. That was not my intention. Alright, here comes something. Okay, 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 okay. Well. Can you make it over here? You can. Just smack him. Do that. Disable the torso. Not bad. But he's not dead. He is bleeding though. You can dash. And then just come over here and take him out. Hello. Right? Was that it? That was the mission. Cool. That was pretty easy. And it gives us a lot of goodwill. Everyone is a little bit injured. But everyone got decent XP. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Morian is very close to leveling up to five. And yeah, not bad. Let's head back to the Geoscape. All right. Ooh, and we got some stuff. So we saved the Haven. We got our rewards here, but we also got some stuff. We got an Iconoclast mag, some medkits, a Marduk's Fist, which is nice. Some Nagal's Wrath magazines. A Dagon's Tooth, Disciples of Anu Blade, damage 100, bleed 30. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad, but the Warhammer does more damage. But that seems pretty cool too. We got three of them. And an Ares magazine. Okay. So that means that we can now reverse engineer can't we already make Marduk's fists? I thought we could already make them. No, I guess not. Well, in that case, we will queue up these guys. The Dagon's Tooth was three days. So I guess the game thinks that the Dagon's Tooth is much, much better. Uh, let, let's have a look at uh, personnel, equipment, uh, I want this stuff, so hands to use, one, action points, two, hands to use, one, action points, two, oh, and I'm out of hammers because I queued up, okay, but I mean, the bleed is nice, but I think I still like the hammer better, to be honest. Well, we'll see. No one got promoted just yet. 
everyone is pretty much fine. Lisa is a little bit iffy, but that's fine. Let's head up and explore up here. Actually, we're right next to the base, right? So let's just heal up a little bit. And that also means that we can Elite Training Constructed in even get sheep off. Okay, where's that? I have no freaking idea. Okay. But uh, she's basically healed now. And Morian got a level up from being at base a little bit. So let's do some training. Master Marksman. Hell yeah. We're getting that. And then we're gonna get up to 20 strength. Mark for death. That's pretty nice too. Weak spot. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just go with some more speed. Yeah. Very cool. Our bases. This training facility is done, which means. So all soldiers at the base, even if assigned to an aircraft, will gain two experience points per hour for each training facility in the base. So we have two training facilities. That's four experience points an hour for just sitting around at this base, uh, twiddling the thumbs. So that's pretty cool. We could build another research lab here. Or we could build another training facility. Simply use this this base to train everyone. Well, I like the idea of another training facility. Let's build that. The training facilities only consume one power. So that's 17 now, I guess. I think it was 16 before we started constructing that. Would mean that we could put another fabrication plant or research lab here. Or yet another training facility. Get our idle operatives leveling up as fast as possible. Speaking of idle operatives. Let's have a look here. You are a... Yeah. No. Now you are interesting, Brian McCann McGrath. And if we head down here and recruit him, then we could head down here and do these. Let's do it. Now, Haven Info, recruit you. And he is back at Phoenix base because or Phoenix point because we didn't have room for him on our craft so he is just gonna sit there and start uh, leveling up at four experience points an hour so that's really nice we don't have any equipment for him really actually we do because we have this uh, Dagon's tooth now but I'd really like a hammer but I mean we need to try this stuff right let's try Dagon's tooth we'll give you a med kit we don't have a pistol for you, do we? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's head back to the Geoscape. Let's head down here and do some exploring. Construction complete. Oh, our satellite uplink is complete and the Triton autopsy is complete. Early versions of this mutation were identified on video streams in 2027 and seen in greater numbers during the second mist of 2040. The current specimens have evolved to the extent that they are intelligent enough to use human equipment. In addition to human-like arms, they have secondary appendages with varied and specialized functions. Other par body parts also reveal extraordinary variations and adaptations. We are seeing increasing numbers of these creatures are often deployed alongside Arthrons. 
Given their more land-based adaptation, we can infer that they are being gestated in land-based structures within the bounds of the new mist outbreak. Genetic origins, 12% myctophids, 8% other deep sea fish, 22% human, 58% unknown. Okay. Function. Sufficient intelligence to use a variety of human weapons in sniper or assault roles, plus various stealth capabilities. Defensive mutations, good night vision and perception. Primary arms, dexterous enough for using rifles and handguns. Secondary, secondary arms with close combat capability, paralyzing, piercing. Defensive mutations, mist emission, chameleon-like evasion in response to attack, rapid regeneration. Agile variant has high jump capability. The Triton's thick skin provides less protection than the Arthron's chitin plating. Okay, cool. Ooh, and now we can actually manufacture shotguns. Cool. Cool. And uh, let's just see. Did we get a... Um, uh, equipment. All... Did we get a shotgun of any kind? No, we didn't. Let's manufacture a shotgun. Uh, mercy, mercy, mercy me. Uh, all right, 11 hours. We'll manufacture that. Because we did have one of our... Uh, one of our assaults had shotgun. Efficiency, I think. Uh, bombardier. Maybe that's the one that got killed. I think it's the one that got killed. Okay, that's unfortunate. But uh, maybe we will get another one with shotgun proficiency. All right, let's keep exploring here. Wait, is our. Uh, this is still going. We do need to start another scan because our satellite uplink was completed as well. So let's just explore this finished. All right, exploration site. Our officers land near cluster of vehicles. There's a group of refugees here, perhaps 20 or more. The leader, a woman woman called Amma Erin? Amma? Aaron? Uh, Ema? Amma? I don't know how to pronounce that. Amma Erin is cautious at first, but greets our team with respect. Are you people with Isaiah Thompson? He came through here a few days back, showed up at just the right time to help all these people, said he'd send us someone to repair our vehicles. Well, we're not with our say with Isaiah Thompson, but we'll repair the vehicles. And that gives us a bit more food, which we don't really need. Okay, are you sure he didn't send you, Aaron asks. Well, when we get, just got extra luck, well, then we just got extra lucky, I suppose. Life is funny sometimes. One moment everything's going wrong, the next you run in into several heroes on the same day. Here, you can have some of our supplies. Thompson left us more than we need. Cool. I want to head over here and scan. Right here, I think. Let's area scan this, and since we're here, let's just explore it. Flowers of the for the dead exploration site. <sighs> Our operatives are set down on the edge of a town abandoned and picked clean long ago. The nearest building appears to be a crematorium. The back room is piled up with bodies as if people brought their dead to this place and just left them here. Pink meaty flowers are growing from mummified corpses swaying even though there's no wind. That doesn't sound good. Well, we're going to search the crematorium. Uh, looks like this is the only place that didn't get ransacked, probably because of the nauseating smell given off by the flowers, which is so intense it actually makes our objects wretch. Materials 90, food 90, and we lost 10 stamina on everyone. Alright. Fine. Let's head back here and clear out uh, India. Hatching Sentinel! Research. This remarkable structure is a living DNA laboratory. Constantly, constantly mutating new variants of Pandoran creature. It produces egg-like structures which are gestated 
in Pandoran nests. Once hatching sentinels within a nest structure are destroyed, the nest is neutralized and quickly abandoned by any remaining Pandorans. No, capa no offensive capabilities have been detected. And the hatching sentinel can detect intruders and then introduce induce all eggs within a wide area to hatch immediately. On detection, destroy the organism as soon as possible in order to prevent its mass hatching mechanism taking effect. Damage inflicting on hatching sentinels is increased by 15%. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm really surprised that we still haven't found a single new Jericho base. Where the heck is no Jericho? Alright, explore this. Scan complete. Scavenging site. Alright. So, in the next episode, we will head into this uh, scavenging site and get some more materials. But, for now, we will leave it and call this an episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.